Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another video. This time, we're gonna do a flip through. I hope y'all are doing well. And let's just get started. So, this is my May and June, and it is simply a composition outer, you know, part, like the composition cover. And then I put in my own signatures of um, an old knitting book that happened to, you know, I cut them down a little bit and I sew in two sig signatures. So this is my May portion, which is hardly filled, but I'm super happy with my June part <laughs> because I've actually been keeping up. Fancy that, right? So here's my opening page. Um, this, I believe, was sent to me in happy mail and I wanted to keep the original uh, so I just photocopied her and then colored her in myself and then this right here is a quote from a desk calendar that I have the background here is these little dab and dot markers the pastel sky blue I don't know what colors I used obviously purple and probably some rose and some teal and they're just, um, you know, they're daubers, like ink daubers. So they're fun to use and they just give just a very light background. So I like that. And then this is, oh, can you tell? It's been a busy month and it's not even over yet. It's almost over, but I'm going to share with you the first half of June. So that is my opening page. Some washi tape, some, a sticker from the botanist sticker anthology book. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to have to try to remember. <laughs> so here's my date up here. And the dates that I use are from another desk calendar. Okay. And it's all about like, I don't know, like, what is it called? Um, 2021. 2021 every day is a holiday. Okay. And I got it at five below. I also have been trying to use up my happy planner stickers. This is my little teacher sticker that um, I received this in happy mail, so sweet. And then I just did collage in the background. Um, the way, way back is actually a piece of my own collage paper that I make. And then I simply scan it into my computer and then I can print it out whenever I want to, to use it however I want to. These stickers I got in happy mail, this right here, Inspire Hope is, um, from a mantra wellness magazine this is from a magazine just bits and pieces around my desk that i'm trying to use up we had stuffed chicken and baked potato for dinner and then i was back to work now this background sticker here was off of an old sticker sheet from my sweet friend brooke <clears throat> excuse me at recreations by brooke okay so at this point in time this was june 1st so we were in the last week of school okay and let me see, what day was it? It was a Tuesday, which normally, Tuesdays I get off early. But on this day, or, or this entire week, in fact, because it was the last week of school before summer break, and we were beginning to pack up the rooms. Uh, yeah, so the kids did have some work, but I was busy packing stuff up, you know, packing up, um, what's it called, like, you know, the library books, all that kind of stuff. And so I worked late to help longer. And oh my word, I was super tired. I thought my feet were going to fall off. <laughs> um, uh, and then also, like later on in the evening, I helped uh, my daughter make up these cute little gift baskets for her room mom. She had three room moms. And so she you know, found out what they liked and, you know, got a few little, like four things, I think, like a gift card, a little personal item, um, is their favorite candy. And I can't remember what else, but anyway, and then she got these really cute, like gold mesh basket things that it just, they came out super cute. So I helped her do that in the evening. And when I got home from work, I was so tired. I just vegged out and I watched, um, Allison from AJ's Inspired Life. I watched Nova Scotia Living and I did, um, let me see. 
I did catch Joshua Alexander's live, which is always fun, and I watched A Lay Full of Meaning. And so I'll have all those uh, YouTube channels below. So on this page here at school, it was a water slide day. So there are my little droplets of water. Again, let me see. Oh, the background. You know what? I might have done these two pages on a journal with me. I'm not really sure. But this, this page here was just like a just throw everything at it, you know? I mean, I had some old stickers on my desk that I used up. Um, these are from, this and this is from uh, the Happy Planner stickers. This background right here, I love this strip. It's just a scrap of paper I had that I've been hoarding from my sweet friend Allison um, at AJ's Inspired Life. We had BLTs for dinner, we did have school. And like I said, it was, oh, it was water slide day. So. Um, the room moms had gotten together because generally speaking in fifth grade, they do, they do a field trip, um, la or no, not last year, but two years ago, they took a trip up to Cape Canaveral to, um, NASA. And so obviously because of the world events, they haven't been able to go on any field trips and have that special day because here in our country, fifth grade marks the end of elementary school. And so they actually go on to middle school. So it is a huge step here in fifth grade, um, you know, yeah, at the end of the year. So the moms got together and they um, got one of those big blow up water slide things. So it was super fun. My daughter, it was so funny because all the kids were chanting, you know, her name and do a flip, do a flip. She was the first one down. So she went up to check it out and then they're all chanting, you know, do a flip. So of course my daughter obliges and does a flip all the way down the slide. <laughs> so that was fun. Oh my goodness. It was a fun day. All the kids had a great time. Everybody got along, which is always a plus and no one got hurt, which was a plus plus. So um, I actually, this was another early day for me, but I stayed a little bit later to help out with things. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to get home as soon as I could so I could spend some time with my big handsome. Um, and then, yeah, so let's see. Oh, at this time on, I don't know, maybe it was on Netflix. We were watching the underground, the underground railroad, which is interesting. And, um, yeah, poor big handsome. He was in so much pain. So he went to bed early and then I caught some of Laura's lives, um, yeah, before bed. So that was that. And this up here is like a little, um, ruffle that I make out of spare fabric. And that holds another one. See here was my husband. He had to go to the doctor probably for like pre-op stuff. Yeah. And then on this day here was the day that his intrathecal pain pump implant was implanted and um, yeah. So that was that. It was a seven hour day. I weighed in the car because here so far you're not allowed to go into the hospitals and uh, yet, and so yeah, I, I did do this little doodle girl of my sweet friend Holly from Journal with Dolly and while I was sitting in the car, I was able to watch her live, which was super fun and um, yeah, so I did a lot of these pages in the car while I waited. And yeah, I always right here, like, thank goodness the bathrooms were close, you know, because that's what I always worry about because a lot of times here, they don't let you into the hospital. And I'm like, er, what am I going to do, you know? But they were very gracious at this hospital. And um, so the device, oh my word, it's like literally this big. It's like probably three to four inches in diameter. I don't even know. And it's like that thick. And my husband has literally zero BMI. Like he has no fat on him at all. Um, and so yeah, it sticks out. He absolutely hates it. He's trying to get used to it anyway. Um, there were three areas on his body that had stitches, you know, so we had to take care of that, got him home, got him settled. And yeah, he's, he's hating life right at this moment, <laughs> but we had ham and cheese macaroni for dinner. And then on this day, let's see, this was actually the last day of school. Um, and I got a very sweet card from a parent. I mean, I got lots of sweet cards from the, from the parents all throughout the week. Um, and then I, my daughter and I both got 
this was attached to like a fake plant, which is fabulous, okay? Let me tell you, because I can't kill a fake plant. Um, so I love it when they do that. <laughs> so it was a really cute plant, and right now it's sitting in my um, kitchen window. And so yeah, received some more sweet goodies from the Gemlets today, and one of the, um, her, I saved one of the mom's hand, uh, hand lettered, you know, um, notes for me because her handwriting is simply gorgeous and she was so sweet she like handmade this a journal for me a little coaster a little like um a cup for me an insulated cup and a mouse pad it was just really generous and very sweet so again just more stuff thrown on a page with the cards i got this sweet card from the teacher the other fifth grade teacher that i worked for um so that was nice this little thing here because on this day, again, it was the last day of school. I'll bring it up. I don't know if I ever showed you guys. I don't even know if I put it on Instagram. But I did uh, hand letter this and make this little, like, dandelion thing with all the kids' fingerprints for hearts and stuff. We made that as a gift for um, the teacher that was retiring. And so, yeah, we had a short day this day. Um, poor Big Handsome. Yeah, he got very little sleep. He was in a lot of pain. And yeah, he pretty much slept on and off all day while I was at work. Um, and we had a half a day at work and it was super hot out. Oh my goodness. And so after all the kids had left to go home, we had a faculty lunch together they had ordered from Panera and we all got lunch, which was very nice. And then we had like a surprise retirement party for the teacher that was retiring. And there were lots of tears and it was very sweet. Um, and then once I got home, yeah, poor Big Hansa, he was just miserable. So he rested on the couch and then I got to watch Johnny and Brooke Jelly Plate live. Um, and then I went over to Laura's live. So I'll, I'll again, I'll have all the links below. I don't, I do believe that Laura, she is the Jersey creative. She, I don't think she's doing videos anymore. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll put all the links below. I always do. So we had leftover. Oh no, I had a left a, a leftover potato for dinner um, because you know, you y'all want to know every little bit about my life. <laughs> that was said with much sarcasm. And then I fell asleep while I was watching Nova Scotia living. So this was like a little, um, what you call it like a post-it note that my daughter had given me she found in her desk and she wasn't going to use them so last day of school yay and then that happened oh my gosh you guys like i cannot make this stuff up all right i just can't i can't make this stuff up okay <laughs> so i don't know if you guys remember but a, a ways back like i was talking about how somebody needs to make like stickers and um like printables you know with not so nice sayings on them okay here's one of them that i just i got offline right and there it is and that's how i felt it was charlie brown good grief um this stress thing this gal right here who's just uh you know she's not having it um but anyway i do know that i Loveland's Life makes some, and I'm not sure if they're only available on her Patreon or not. I'll leave her link below as well. But, you know, just because every day is not good, it just isn't, you know? So, and I'm always very hard pressed to find like stickers where, you know, or some kind of ephemera, you know, that like says exactly how I'm feeling. I guess I could just make my own. Anyway, Bottom line, ER, okay, emergency room with my husband for eight hours, right? Apparently, it, it had nothing to do with his surgery that he had had like two days before. He was diagnosed with pancreatitis for the fourth time, okay? Now, while we were there, we were there for eight hours before they admitted him. It took eight hours to get a room and all that. Oh, gosh, it's always such a nightmare, but... I, he came in um, into the room at like 6.30 in the morning and was like, baby, you got to take me to the ER. And I know from my husband, when he says he has to go to the ER, he needs to go to the ER. So we went, I dropped him off because again, I wasn't sure, you know, if I was able to go in or not with him and all that kind of stuff. 
And they kind of have like the triage thing is actually outside the hospital now. It's not in the hot. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Anyway, not going to, this says not going to lie. I, I was really struggling this evening. Um, my daughter had gone to her boyfriend's. Of course, my son doesn't live at home. My husband's in the hospital and I was home alone. Now my daughter would have stayed home had I asked her to, but I did not. Um, so yeah, I just suffered in silence <laughs> by myself. Oh my gosh, I'm such a spaz. Because, um, yeah, my husband was like in the hospital, hopped up on lots of drugs to relieve his pain. And, um, yeah, so I was sitting in the parking lot for like an hour and then I thought, you know, let me just check the website and see if I'm allowed in. Lo and behold, I was allowed in. So I go up to the guy and I said, yeah, I brought my husband here like an hour ago. And I said, I just realized now I went on your website and it says that you are allowed to have one person if it's non-COVID related. And I said, and it isn't. So he said, he looked at me, he said, wow, you're really patient. <laughs> Let me tell you, after six years, I, you can't be anything but patient. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so my husband was in the hospital, okay? Then on this day, this is just uh, some things on my desk um, with Allison's special treatment. It's probably super glary. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this day, I went to the hospital, of course, to sit with my husband. And I think on this day, I'm not sure which day it was, but I literally sat with him and slept like the whole day. Yeah. Um, and there's a new pancreatic protocol, apparently. They were starting him on clear liquids on the second day. Normally, when my husband's been in the hospital before with pancreatitis, it's like a five or more day ordeal, and they don't even start you on anything until like the fourth day, the third day. I don't even know. Anyway, new protocol. He... He did not eat or drink a lot and it was uh, well or drink a lot it was a clear liquid diet so yeah um this night i had had a terrible night's sleep i had a lot of anxiety um just i don't like it's not that i don't like being home alone it was just the stress of everything you know the stress of everything um and yeah, so yeah, this is the day that I went to the hospital to visit him and I just like literally slept in the chair like the whole day. And then also during this time, we had already planned for our nephew to come down to visit for a few weeks in the summer, of course, not knowing that any of this stuff was gonna go on. And so this morning on Saturday morning, my niece, our niece was texting us cause it's her son who, um, came down and she was texting him my husband's in the ER anyway so graciously both of my kids went up and met them halfway uh, to collect the nephew and so when I got home from the hospital that day um, we just had a game night my my uh, daughter's boyfriend was over and we played Clue and um, Trouble and Trivial Pursuit yeah and I was just like so so worn out just every bit of me was worn out so these, I kept all these, you know, little like menu slips or whatever. And on this day, um, oh, well, I put celebrate the small victories because now he was on to like a soft diet and um, he did eat a little bit, which was good. And my daughter took the nephew to play mini golf and I did have a much better night's sleep, probably because people were home. I, my husband was like, you know, moving toward mending and, you know, so it was, it was all good. Um, I took the kids to the grocery store before I left to go to the hospital because I needed to pick up some things specific for the nephew. And um, let's see, yeah, they went to go play mini golf and then they came home and went swimming. And then Beauty Queen, um, her boyfriend came over again and she made really yummy hot wings and she makes homemade um, jalapeno poppers. They're so good. And we played Monopoly that night, a game I do not like. I still do not like it. I will probably never like it. And yeah, I had to beg off and go to bed because it was going on taking forever. And then on this day here, my husband finally was released from the hospital, free at last, discharged. Um, and, but before he was discharged, I went to, um, oh yeah, well, once he got home, the soft blame diet went out the window. I was not happy about that. 
And then um, this goes down here, right? And here is my daughter and my nephew, and they were making slime. So she had taken him to uh, Michael's and purchased some slime stuff. I think they went to school first, actually. Let me move this down a little bit. Yeah, they went to school first, and he helped pack up some more of the class. They picked up pizza on the way home, which was very sweet. And I went and met my girlfriends. Okay, we had a Mooney and Boney breakfast at the Waffle House first and last time we go there, just saying. Here's another one of my little ruffle things. Um, yeah, and funny stories all around when we were out. <laughs> um, on this day here, my husband had to go back to his pain doctor because he was actually supposed to have gone on Monday to get his stitches looked at and the, like a wound check. Um, but obviously, he was in another hospital. So... Yeah, um, this background thing and this and this, my daughter gave me. She was cleaning out her desk and she had found some of these pads that she gave me, which was really nice. So we went to, well, these are the things I had to do that day. Is first I went to school to help my daughter finish, uh, well, attempt to finish packing up the classroom. Uh, then I went with my big handsome to his doctor's appointment then we got home and I relaxed on the patio and then we played board games and um, oh yeah while I was at the hospital waiting for my husband for his wound check I watched again uh, Joshua Alexander went live again and so I watched uh, his live while I waited for big handsome at his doctor's appointment and then later on we were playing scattergories I love that game and it was hilarious because we were playing with our 12 year old nephew and the question was something that makes noise and starts with B. And so our nephew's answer was Veronica's. Okay, like Veronica's only the letter that was rolled was B. And yeah, hard no on that one. Okay. <laughs> It was, some of his answers were freaking hilarious, all right? So on this day, um, things were kind of coming to, um, uh, I don't know, any eruptive uh, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I was not having a good day. I was on the edge, right? And this right here is, um, uh, let's find it. It's a, um, a label that I made from this really sweet, um, this right here, this Mumbin label maker. And if you didn't see that review, I'll put it below. Anyway, yeah. Oh, I also did a journal with me on this where I chopped this lady's head off. Yeah, oh, what a disaster. I was having a time of it. But my daughter took the nephew to Sky Zone, so they had a lot of fun doing that. Um, but first, before they went to Sky Zone, we uh, went to the classroom and we finally got everything packed up. Finally, okay. Then she took him to Sky Zone and then she went and took him to this Milky Way's cereal bar. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. We had family game night again. I had some ice cream this night. We had tacos for dinner. And we were, yeah, we finally finished packing everything up. Oh my goodness, yeah. And then I was in a crappy mood the whole afternoon. So yeah, I just, I think I was just kind of like hitting the wall, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so the next day my husband got up and he went out and did the grocery shopping as one does when they get out of the hospital and have stitches and uh, anyway. Um, he brought home my favorite flowers, which are these right here and this sticker I found in the botanist sticker anthology book. I'm just checking to make sure that nothing is too glary. So he's so sweet and they're Alstromerias and that is one of the reasons I love them. Well, A, they're beautiful and B, they are long lasting. These flowers lasted um, for like three weeks. It was crazy. So anyways, I spent loads of time in my room today filming, working in, in my book and here, this is from uh, taken from a desk calendar as well. Take a self-care day if you need it and yes, okay, after this day here, I needed it so yep taken um, yeah and so I filmed three videos this day my husband I'm sure did some laundry had more ice cream cuz why not I got my dab and dot markers which is what I used there these things the daubers I showed you um, and I used those on the background and then this day was basically like a day I, I didn't really journal a lot I this is my only journaling here are some more of the mum bin labels 
um, that I made with the little portable thermal label maker. And I literally filmed this video, this review video, like five times before I aired it. Oh my gosh. I really, I do enjoy working with companies that, you know, I think I would be interested in. You know what I'm saying? And that I think that you all might be interested in. That's why I accept their collaboration offer. Um, and these are just, they're super fun. They really are super fun. This I received in Happy Mail a long time ago, and it, it's just a faith-based, um, about the Lord always caring for us. This is a faith-based sticker. Some more um, anthology, the botanical sticker book. Um, craft room day all day. Yes, we had nachos for dinner. We were watching Bones. I love these little labels that I can put what we're watching on Netflix. And I received one of my pocket dresses and I love it. So I went and I ordered two more. Yeah. Um, I, I like wearing dresses to work and I, they have to have pockets so that I can have my phone. So let's see. Then on this day here, I played um, board games with my nephew again. It's been super rainy here. Like, hello, it's always rainy in summer in Florida. It rains every day. Um, my husband had another appointment with his doctor. I finally filmed, I think, the last, the final video for the label maker here. Um, and here's, this, I think I did a, yeah, I did a journal with me on these pages as well that aired last week. And here's my little doodle drawing of my son and all of his facial piercings. Um, my nephew and I played uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Life. Um, my husband and I had some cuddle time. Um, yeah, I was feeling like a sloth this day. I was super just worn out. And um, so my son and daughter took our nephew out to lunch at Burger Fi, which is some kind of like, I don't know, posh burger place, I guess. And um, so they enjoyed that. And then we watched Bones later. And then this day, this is my beautiful sister-in-law and she sent us um, a, a thank you card, which was very sweet. Uh, this would have been my mother's 77th birthday, flag day. And I did have a monkey around day. Um, yeah, I just, I had a super nice day in my room again. Worked on pages, filming. I filmed my um, Collage Weekly Planner. And Big Handsome got his stitches removed this day. So that was that. And then here, I'm going to end here. Um, this day here was like partial bed day, okay? Um, I had started a migraine, which was horrific. I did manage to film two videos, a journal with me, and an attempt at the flow book, which did not work out. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, you know what that is. I'm trying to do something with a flow book. That'll be coming up soon. And so it says, uh, I worked in my room, but I had a split. Oh, both Big Handsome and I had splitting headaches. Now his is from a postural puncture, which is not good. And he still suffers with them today. Hopefully, I don't know, by the time this airs, they'll be gone. I don't know. They're supposed to just like go away on their own. Um, so let's see. Sunshine came over after his blood work. His He gets blood work done about every three months, I think, because um, he has an oncology appointment coming up. And here they are, my sweet son and my nephew. And they, my son was helping my nephew do a model that he had brought with him, so that was really sweet. Um, this day here, company's coming. Yes, my father had called on this day and said, hey, we're in town. You mind if we come for a visit? Or maybe he could have called this day. I can't remember. But at any rate, um, there's some private journaling in here. Um, I had a splitting headache and, um, you know, we it was rainy all day. Um, I had a nap in the afternoon or laid down, I'm sure, because my head was about to pop off my neck. Um, but I spent the morning, we all spent the morning finishing up some cleaning before my father and his wife came for a short visit and it was really nice seeing them. And they told us about um, their recent trip to Alaska. They had a great time, um, super tiring, but they had a great time. And yeah, we need to get up to where they live so we can spend some more time with them. 
Um, yeah, what did I put in here? I Well, I'm pounding migraine. Yep. Yeah, it was bad on this day. So anyway, there you have it. There is my uh, first half of June, and I hope you enjoyed that flip through. Yeah, I know it was kind of long I'm because I am long-winded, folks. I'm long-winded, and um, yeah. So thank you so much for sharing your time with me. It's been quite a month. It's been quite a month. So, um, but good thing is, is that I've been home. I've been able to work in my book and I am even, I'm still kind of current. Yeah, I'm still kind of current. And so, yeah, it's been so much fun just getting back in here and doing my pages. And yeah, it is one of the things that I love to do. So thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's lots of other things on my channel other than, well, no, that's a lie. No, it's basically journaling what's on my channel, but I do have other things. So if you wanna peruse the channel or go to my playlist, I have a lot of those, um, yeah. If you want to know what's coming up soon, the easiest way to do that is, again, click the subscribe button and notification bell. And uh, don't forget to always look in the description box as well because I have all the links of anyone that I've mentioned that has a YouTube channel. I link them down below. So check those channels out. You might or might not have heard of them before. Um, yeah, so again, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye for now.